Praise God today. Our God is a faithful God. We are going out today to preach the good news, as we always do. Today we're going to be preaching on God's righteousness, the righteousness of God versus, versus man. And we want to let people know that the righteousness of God exalts the nation, and that God wants us to be righteous, and God is a righteous God. And that when we are serving God, we can be righteous. You know, some people, they don't know that they can be righteous. They say, oh, we cannot be righteous. We cannot be righteous. But we can be righteous. Because God is a righteous God. So we want to go and let the people know that God is a righteous God and we can be righteous by the power of our Lord Jesus. Because it's not our myth. It's not because of us, but it's because of God that we can be righteous. God bless you. As we go out, let's go. And let's be righteous all together. Jesus Christ loves us. Amen. God bless you. Great is God's faithfulness. Hello, brother. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you live around this area, sir? Can I give you the leave there? Okay. God bless you. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. Jesus Christ live and reign. Hello, sister. God bless you. Our God live and reign forever and ever and ever. And he's great. And he's greatly to be praised. And he's greatly to be honored. Today, we are talking about righteousness. Righteousness. It's a big word. It's a big word. But I can assure you that big word is easy. It's easy to keep. Righteousness of God. Righteousness. Some people said, can, you, can anyone be righteous? Hello? Can you be righteous? Can anyone be righteous? Yes, you can be righteous. Because it's not by power, it's not by might. But it's by the Spirit of God. Hello, young man. Jesus loves you. So anyone can be righteous. Because righteousness is a promise of God. If nobody can be righteous, then God will not tell us that without righteousness, without holiness, we're not going to enter into the kingdom of God. But because God wants us to go to, this, to his kingdom, God wants us to enter into the kingdom of God. And that is why he made us righteous. He wants us to be righteous. So yes, you can be righteous. Because God wants you to be righteous. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's a righteous God. And he wants you to be righteous. Without righteousness, you're not going to go to the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is men. It's meant for you. Therefore, the righteousness of God. Amen, brother. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus love you. Our God is a great God. Because the righteousness of God exalts every nation. Our God is good. Yes, you can be righteous. But it's not because you can do it by yourself. No. If you want to be righteous by yourself, you become a self-righteousness. And that is not giving glory to God. But God can make you righteous. By the grace, that's why Jesus Christ came. To make us to be righteous. He came that we'll be righteous. Jesus Christ came to make us righteous. That's why he came. For righteousness. To establish that men can be righteous here on earth. You can be righteous here on earth, brother. You can be righteous here on earth, sister. That is why Jesus Christ came. So God can help you to be righteous. It is not because it's not because of your works. But it's because of grace. There's a grace of righteousness. There's grace of righteousness. And God wants you to be righteous. Our God is a faithful and a just God. God wants you to be righteous. Because that is grace. The grace of righteousness is given to us. Yes, it's a big word, but it's very simple. 
if you're just doing something right, yes, you do something right. When you do something right, you're right. Yes, brother. Jesus loves you. You know what is right? Do what is right. You do what is right, you become righteous. You do what is wrong, then you are unrighteous. And God has made us to understand, to know what is good and what is bad. God has given us the knowledge, the understanding to know what is good and what is bad. You know what is good, you know what is bad. God has given us the conscience, the conscience to teach us what is good and also to teach us what is bad. God has given us that conscience. Conscious of righteousness, conscious of doing what is good, conscious of doing what is right before God. So yes, you can be righteous because God is ever ready to make you righteous. How can you go to heaven without the righteousness of God? You cannot, you can't make it. But with the righteousness of God, you can go to heaven. How did the righteousness begin? Start from repentance. Jesus loves you, sister. You start from repentance. The word of God wants you to repent. You got everything have a start. Every journey have a start. So the journey of righteousness starts from believing God, repenting from your sins. Receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, that's a journey. You take a journey. The journey of righteousness. The journey of holiness. The journey of perfection. Because the word of God says, Be ye perfect, for I, the Lord, your God, I am perfect. So God is ever ready to help you to be perfect. And some of us may doubt it. Some of us may think, no, that's not right. But yes, that is truth. That you can be righteous, you can be holy, you can be perfect. But that is not your make. But it's the make of the Lord. Hello, young people. Jesus loves you. You want to read about Jesus? Jesus care for you, okay? Our God is faithful, our God is just. You know, devil may be speaking to many hearts and said, You can't, you can't make it. You can't be righteous, you can't be holy in this world. Because this world is full of sin. That is devilish. This world is not full of sin. This world is full of good things. There are good people. There are righteous people. There are holy people. But the truth is, God bless you, sir. Thank you. Whoever you join, or whoever you make your friend will determine whether you can live righteous or whether you can live holy. Because anyone you make your friend, that person will determine where your faith is. If you have a friend with a righteous person, you are very close to righteousness. That's why we say, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and sorrow bear. And what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and sorrows he bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and sorrow bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. So whoever that is your friend will decide the life you want to live. If you make devil your friend, you cannot be righteous because devil have got no taste of righteousness anymore. But if you make Jesus Christ your friend, then you can be righteous. Because Jesus Christ is righteous. He is a righteous that lived among us. 
is a perfect human being that lived among us. It's a holy God that lived among us. So if you make Jesus Christ your friend, he will teach you how to be righteous. He will help you to be righteous. You make Jesus your friend. He will help you to be righteous. He will teach you to be righteous. He will teach you righteousness. He will tell you how righteousness will exalt you, how to be righteous. And then he will give you grace to be righteous. Because there is grace of righteousness. Could God give it? God give the grace of righteousness. So do not think that this world is done with for righteousness. No. There are still righteous people that are there that will go to the kingdom of God. Remember what will take you to the kingdom of God is the righteousness of God. So you can be righteous. You can be righteous. But it is a journey. It is a journey. And that journey is a journey of decision. When you make decision today to be righteous, you start that journey. You make decision today to be righteous, you start that journey of righteousness. But if you never make decision to be righteous, you cannot start that journey of righteousness. You will continue to sin. But the Bible says, shall we continue to sin so that the grace of God will abide? Say, God forbid, we cannot continue to sin because God has given us grace upon grace that will help us to overcome sin. So why will you continue to sin when the grace of God is given to you? The word of God says, God forbid, Sin will not rule over you. Sin will not reign over your life. Let the righteousness of God reign over you. Let the goodness of God reign over you. Let the word of God be in your heart. Let the word of God reign in your heart. Let the word of God reign in your spirit. Let the word of God reign in your soul. Let the word of God reign in you. Jesus Christ, Love you so much. Our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. Our God is wonderful. That is a good news. That yes, even in this very generation, you can still be righteous. Because God has given us more grace. God has given us more grace for us to be righteous. So Jesus Christ love you, young man. Jesus care for you. Young man, Jesus love you. Because you don't have the spirit of God in you. Do you have the spirit of God? Do you have the spirit of God? Do you have the spirit of God? Do you have the spirit of God in you? Is Jesus your friend? Is Jesus your friend? No, 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 no. Is Jesus your friend? Is, is Jesus your friend? You have a friend of a sinner. Your friend is a sinner. Yeah? Muhammad, your friend, is a sinner. So that's why you cannot understand the righteousness of God. Our God is a great God. Our God is wonderful and is great. Jesus Christ is Lord. He never fell. He never changes. He never disappoints us. What a friend we have in Jesus Christ. All our sins and sorrows he bears. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. If you make Jesus Christ your friend, your righteousness will start. You're gonna be righteous. But if you make devil your friend, then your righteousness will not start. Your righteousness will diminish. So Jesus Christ have to be there to help you to be righteous. If not, you will not be. Jesus Christ is the righteousness. The righteousness of God. Jesus wants you to be righteous. Our God is a great God. Our God is a faithful and our God is a just God. Therefore, righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to every nation. Righteousness exalts every nation. And sin is a reproach 
to every nation. Therefore, God wants you to be righteous. Jesus is there to help you to be righteous and to overcome. Jesus is there to help you to overcome because he's our overcomer. He gave us grace to overcome. The grace of God is given to you and to me to overcome every kind of form of weakness. Sin is a weakness unto us, but grace is power. Sin is a weakness, but grace is power. Our God is a good God. I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that sin is a weakness, but the grace of God is power. And the word of God says, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. So that grace, that wonderful grace that brings salvation appeared to every one of us, to every one of us, to all. The reason why it is for all of us is because God wants all of us to make it. The Bible says that God does not want anyone to perish. God does not want any sinner to perish. But God wants every sinner to repent and to come to the righteousness of God. So that is why God gives grace to everybody, to all of us, to repent. So you can be righteous. So you can be holy. So you can know God. So you can serve God in truth and in spirit. Because grace is given to us. The grace to be righteous is given to every one of us to be righteous. And that grace is given not because of our merit, but because of God's love toward us, God give us that grace to be righteous. God give us that grace to be God bless you, sir. God give us that grace to be holy. The grace to be righteous, the grace to be holy, the grace to be perfect. If we have Jesus Christ to be our friend, if we have Jesus Christ to be our friend, then he will help us more. He will guide us. Guide us. That's one song that said, Guide me, O thou great Redeemer. Guide me, O thou the great Redeemer. Guide me. Guide my, my spirit. Guide my soul. Guide my body. When you have Jesus Christ as your Lord, he will guide you. He will guide you. He will keep you from falling. The Bible says he is the one that will keep you from falling. Without Jesus Christ, you will fall. Jesus Christ keep you from falling. Yes, because he loves you. And that is why he's always there to teach you, to help you, to bless you. God bless you, my friend. Jesus loves you. So the grace of God is sufficient for us. And it's for everybody, for every one of us. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. So today, we bring that very big word that nobody wants to hear. Righteousness. And that righteousness is within, is within your skin. It's very close to you. If you believe, the righteousness will be given to you. If you believe, the grace of righteousness will be given to you. If you repent from your sins and receive Jesus Christ as your personal lover, God and Savior. Because God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. So when you believe, He gave you the grace, His grace to be righteous, and His grace to be holy, and His grace to be perfect. That is grace of perfection. That is grace of holiness. That is grace of righteousness. That is grace of perfection. That is grace of holiness. That is grace of righteousness. So if you believe, you receive it. If you reject, you're not going to get it. God so loves us. And God wants to be with us. Jesus Christ says, I go and prepare a place. A place for you. I will go before you. I will prepare a place for you. So that where I am, you will be also be. He went and prepared a place for us. And then when he got there, he sent grace to us. The grace that will bring us to
people himself. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is Lord. And that's why when Jesus Christ died, you know, all the elders, the prophets that was beheaded, that was killed for righteousness sake, the Bible says, because they are still waiting for the Savior to, to open the way to go to the kingdom of God. The Bible says they all came up. They all came up. They all resurrected when Jesus Christ died. They all resurrected. And then Jesus Christ went to heaven with them. Take them up to heaven. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Apart from him, there is no life. Apart from him, there is no truth. Apart from him, there is no way. Jesus Christ is the way. He's the truth. And he's the life. It's only him. It's only him. He's the only way. He's the only truth. He's the only life. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's God. He's God. He's God. Jesus Christ is God. Let, let me tell you, Muhammad is dead and is in six feet. His bones is still there. His bones is still there. It's not coming back again. But my Jesus is coming back again, young man. Thank you. Our God is a great God. Our God is a wonderful God. You cannot compare the holy God with a sinful prophet. Never. It's on comparison. My Jesus Christ is coming back again. My Jesus is coming back. Whether you like it or not, he's coming back again. Let me tell you. And no other prophet is coming back. Neither is Muhammad coming back again. The only prophet, the only one that is coming back again is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. And your book tells you that, that Jesus Christ is coming back. Amen, sister. God bless you. Every book tell you that every holy book tell you that my jesus is coming back again to judge to judge the living and the dead our god is a good god jesus christ love you amen god bless you jesus is lord he's lord he's god he's coming back again he is coming back again there is no other prophet that is coming back again to judge he's the one that will judge us in righteousness, he will come and judge us. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's a great God. He's a faithful God. The reason why that many people today are not holy, are not righteous, because they are following the prophet that is not holy, that is not righteous. So they cannot be holy because the prophet did not teach them how to be holy. But Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is perfect. Jesus Christ is righteous. And that is why anyone that believes in the name of Jesus Christ and repent from his sins and receive Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior will be holy, will be perfect, will be righteous because he himself is holy, he's perfect, he's righteous, he's the everlasting God, he's the Prince of Peace, he's the Lord of Lords, he's the Alpha and the Omega, he's the beginning and the end. There is no one to be compared with him, no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. It must be Jesus and it is Jesus that save us. It must be Jesus. And it is Jesus Christ that save us. No other name, no other prophet saves. Abraham cannot save. Muhammad cannot save. Uh, uh, Moses cannot save. No other prophet saves. The only one that saves is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that died for us on the cross of Calvary to set us free. And that's what the Bible says. There is no other name. No other name given among men whereby we must be saved. It must be Jesus. It must be Jesus that save us. It must be Jesus that delivers us. It must be Jesus that give us life. Because he's the giver of life. Amen. God bless you. He's the giver of life. He's the maker of everything. He's the creator of everything. Every religion believes in him. Every religion tells you that if you don't believe in Jesus, you are not a true religion. You are not a true follower. Because every religion, every other prophet believes in him. Because he is the only one that brings joy. He is the only one that brings life. He is the only one that do not sin. He is the only one that do not commit adultery or fornication. He is the only one that do not marry, marry, marry 10 wives, 11 wives, 12 wives, even marry a toddler. Some prophets, they marry a toddler. Because they have got rights to marry whoever they want to marry. 
When they kill, they marry what they take the wife. When they kill the man, they take the wife. Jesus Christ do not kill. He didn't kill nobody. He lived a righteous life. He lived a holy life. He lived a life that is worthy. He lived a life of righteousness. He showed us the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The Bible says, for Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth, and is the life. There is no other way. We're going to shout it loud because he's God. He is the raising king. He is the faithful God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. There is none to be compared with him. His name is highly lifted up above every other name. And the Bible says that the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in heaven. So only the glory of God, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Jesus Christ loves every one of you. He loves us. He died for both the whole world. He died for Muslims. He died for Christians. He died for Hindu. He died for whoever you are. Jesus loves you, okay? Our God is a faithful God. So let us come to the Lord. Let us come to Jesus Christ today. In him, there is life. He died for every one of us. Young lady, Jesus died for you, okay? He died to set us free. He died to save us. Because his name is strong. He's stronger. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. He's a faithful God. He's a mighty redeemer. He's the comforter. He's the prince of peace. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. There is none like unto the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. He died for us. He died to set us free. He is great. And he is greatly to be praised. So today, I preach and I teach and I believe and I know that you can be righteous. I know you can be righteous because it's not your make. It's not your effort, but it is by grace that you'll be righteous, Laura. It is by grace. The grace that Jesus Christ gave. No other, no other name that gives grace. There is no other religion that said, oh, you have grace. It is only Jesus, the Son of God. It is only Christianity that tells you that there is a grace and there is a giver of grace. And his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Our God lives and reigns forever. There is no one like unto him. He is worthy, worthy of our praise, worthy of our glory, worthy of our honor, worthy of our exaltation. Jesus' name can never lose his power. Jesus' name can never lose his battle. He can never, 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 he will never, never, never. Jesus' name can never lose his power. He will never, never lose his power. My Savior name can never lose his battle. He can never, 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 never. He will never, 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 never. Jesus' name can never lose his power. He can never, never lose his power. Jesus' name can never lose his battle. Oh, he can never, 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 never. He will never, 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 never. Jesus' name can never lose his battle. He will never, never lose his battle. Emmanuel's name can never lose his battle. He will never, 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 never. He will never, 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 never. Jesus' name can never lose his battle. He will never, never, never lose his power. Let me tell you one of us why Jesus' name is righteous, why Jesus' name is holy, why Jesus' name is perfect. The Bible tells us that every other prophet, every other prophet that have lived on earth, Killed their enemies. They killed their enemies. But Jesus Christ loved his enemy. He loved his enemy. He never killed his enemy. He never troubled his enemy. He said, He told us to love your enemy and pray for them. That this people use you. He said, Love your enemy. Do you love your enemy? 
No, yes, you see, you are one of those prophets. You are one of those prophetess that killed your enemy. If you don't love your enemy, you kill your enemy. <laughs> that is true. If you don't love your enemy, you kill your enemy. You destroy your enemy. But when you love your enemy, you let your enemy lead. You show your enemy that you are greater than them. Do you understand what I mean? Because I've asked some people that, are, that belong to other prophets, and they said, oh, their prophet killed their enemy. That if somebody comes to attack you, what will you do? I said, some people come to attack Jesus. He didn't kill them. He let them take him. He didn't kill them. But other religion prophets, they killed their enemy. They destroyed their enemies. But Jesus Christ did not. Beginning from Abraham to all of them, all of the prophets, they killed their enemy. They destroyed their enemy. They go after their enemy. Even David. David went after his enemy. David killed his enemy. Muhammad went after his enemy. Muhammad killed his enemies. Elijah went after his enemy. He killed his enemy. But Jesus Christ loved everybody. That's why he's God. And the Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever can live in him will not perish but have everlasting life. He, didn't, he didn't never killed anybody, he didn't shed any blood. Even when his uh, apostle, Apostle Peter, drew the knife and cut off the ear of the chief priest servant, he said to him, no, 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 you can't just do that. Those that kill by the sword, they go by the sword. And then he picked up the, the ear and fixed it back. Because Jesus Christ can fix everything, can fix anything that has gone wrong in your life. Jesus Christ can fix you. He can help you. He can heal you. He can deliver you. He can set you free. He can change you. He can heal you. He's a great God. He's a great healer. He's a mighty God. He does everything. He's a great God. There is no one like unto him. No one that ever lived can be anywhere close to the name of Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says that Jesus Christ is a, the name of Jesus Christ is a strong tower. And the righteous run into the name of Jesus Christ, and the righteous are saved. Listen, once you come to Jesus Christ, once you come to Jesus Christ, he make you righteous. And that's what the Bible says, the righteous run to Jesus Christ. But other religion, you go there and make you sinner. Yeah? You go to other religion, they make you sinner. They tell you how sinful you are. But when you come to Jesus, he forgive you. He wash away all your sin. And he make you holy. He said, be holy, for I am, I am the Lord, I am holy. That's what Jesus Christ said. He shall be holy unto me, for I am your God, I am holy. Jesus Christ made you holy. And Jesus Christ makes me holy. Because he's a holy God. If you are not holy, you cannot make anybody holy. If you are poor, you cannot make anybody rich. Yeah? If you are struggling, you cannot make anybody. If you are depressed, you cannot make anybody laugh. <laughs> Everyone that come around you is gonna be saying, mm, "Why are you happy? You should be depressed like me." Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but Jesus Christ is a, a perfect God, and He make us to be happy, and He give us grace and grace upon grace, because He love us and He care for us, and He died for our sins to save us and to set us free. Our God is a good God, and that's why we stand with my brother here. When all this um, uh, uh, injection, what do you call it again? COVID injection and everything. Don't you have a God that can protect you? Don't you have a God that can protect you? COVID injection. COVID, COVID, COVID injection. Whatever you call it. Don't you have a God? God is a faithful and a God is a just God. Today is the day of salvation. Where are they? Where are all of those people that have taken those COVID injections? Where are they? Where are all those people? May your, may your coins perish with you. May this your coins perish with you. You are very poor God. Our God is a faithful, our God is a wonderful God. Jesus Christ loves us so much and he cares for us. Go away with your coins. May your coins perish with you. May your money, your money perish with you. Repent. Our God is a great God. Jesus Christ is love. He's kind. It's not all about money. The word of God is not all about money. The word of God is all about repentance, salvation. Jesus Christ is Lord. 
Our God lives and reigns forever. Money, the love of money is the root of all evils. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evils. When you love money, when you think everything is money, that is when you go astray. That's when you kill. That's when you fight. That's when you destroy life in order to make money. But when you have Jesus, you have love. Jesus Christ is love. Yes, brother. Thank you very much, brother. God bless you. Oh. <laughs> he got me. He got me. I I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Jesus Christ love you. <laughs> our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is love. There is no one that comes to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So today, there is none to be compared with him. We have got a message today for the whole world, for every one of you, all the walks of life, whoever you are, wherever you come from, we've got a message today. That message is Jesus Christ saves, Jesus Christ heals, Jesus Christ delivers, Jesus Christ makes you holy, Jesus Christ makes you righteous. It is a day of righteousness. You can be righteous, brother. You can be righteous, sister. Don't let devil tell you you cannot be righteous. Don't let devil convince you that no one, there's no righteous man on earth. Because they are not. If you have Jesus Christ as your savior, you become righteous. If you have Jesus Christ as your redeemer, you become, re you are redeemed. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is a righteous God. He makes you righteous. He gives you grace. He gives you power to do, power to be. Power to do, power to be righteous, grace to be, grace to be righteous, because he himself is grace himself. Our God is a good God. He gave you himself, and he built you up in a wonderful way, and he gave you grace to be holy, grace to be righteous, but Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ is Lord, yes. He never fell, he never changes, he never disappoints. I have a father who never fell. I have a God who never fell. I have a God who never fell. Who never fell. Who will never fell. Forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fell. Amen. Jesus never fell. Amen. Jesus never fell. Jesus never fell. Jesus never fell. Forevermore. Every other prophet fails. Every other human being fails. But because Jesus Christ is God, he never fails. Every other name fails. Every other prophet fails. Every other prophet is in six feet grave. But Jesus Christ resurrects on the third day. And he ascended to heaven. And he is coming back again. Jesus is coming back. The second coming of Christ is very, very close. Therefore, you must repent. You must receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Because today is that day of salvation. Because today is that righteous day. Because today is that day the Lord has given to us. And God wants us to come to him. The Bible says, draw near to God. And God will draw near to you. When you draw close to God, God will draw close to you. Okay, young people, Jesus loves you. Draw close to God and God will draw close to you. He's a good God. And he has got room for every one of God. Jesus Christ has got room for you, brother. Got room for you if you come to him. If you come to him, young people, Jesus Christ has got big, big room, big heart for you. Okay, he loves you. He's here for you. Our God is great. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. What a good God. Young man, Jesus loves you, okay? That's why I say Our God is good. Therefore, we must. Rely and depend on the righteousness of God. We must rely and depend on the goodness of God, on the favor of God, on the faithfulness of God, on the kindness of God, on the love of God. God love you. God love the whole world. He gave his only son, Jesus. God love you. And that is why you should come to Jesus Christ because he loved you. He died for you. Jesus Christ loved you and he died for your sin. So when you come to Jesus Christ, you will be saved. He will help you. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. Because the Bible says, if the, if the Son of Man shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. If Jesus make you free, 
You shall be free indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you for your company. I'm going to be going as well because it's ready now. Jesus Christ love us. He loved me. I can't just say why. He loved me. I can't just say why. On Calvary tree, Jesus died for me. He loved me. I can't just say why. Jesus loved me. I can't just say why. Jesus loves me. I can't just say why. On Calvary cross, Jesus died for me. He loves me. I can't just say why. Okay? Thank you. He loves me. I can't just say why. Jesus loves me. I can't just say why. On Calvary cross, Jesus died for me. He loves me. I can't just say why. He loves me. I can't just say why. Jesus loves me. I can't just say why. On Calvary cross, Jesus died for me. He loved me. I can't just say why. Jesus loves you. You can't just say why. Jesus loves you. He can't just say why. <clears throat> On Calvary cross, he died for you. He loves you. You can't just say why. Jesus loves us. We can't just say why. He loves us. We can't just say why. On Calvary cross, Jesus died for us. He loves us. I can't just say why. You know, Jesus loves us. The love of God is bigger than the love you have for these pets. The love of God is bigger than the love you have for your children. God loves us and make us his children. We are heirs of the Father, and we are joint heirs of the Father. We are children of the kingdom, and we are one. We are one, and we are one. Our God is a great God. And our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is that day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. What a great God. What a faithful and a just God. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus Christ live and reign forever. He stand forever the same. He stand forever faithful. He stand forever holy. He stand forever righteous. He stand forever glorious. He stand forever gracious. He stand forever wonderful. He's great. Therefore, Jesus is calling. He's calling to everybody. Come, come and eat. The supper is ready. Come and eat. Come, everybody. Come, all you that is hungry. Come, all you that is thirsty. Come, come and eat. It's prepared. The food is prepared. The dinner is prepared. Everything is prepared for every one of you to come. Righteousness is prepared. You can be righteous. Just come as you are. When you come, he will make you righteous. When you come, he will leave everything for him. No matter however you are. Just, just come to Jesus just as you are. When you come to Jesus Christ just as you are, he will receive you. He will make you better. He will make you better. He will go to wash you. He will cleanse you. He will make you better. You're going to be better when you come to Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Our God is faithful and just God. He has got the power, the authority to make us better. He has got the power. He's got authority to make us to be holy again. He has got the power. He's got authority to strengthen us. He has got the power. He's got authority to keep us flowing in the grace, to keep us flowing in the spirit, to keep us flowing in the wisdom, to keep us righteous. Because righteousness belongs to him. Righteousness is of the Lord. No other power has the, the authority to make us righteous. No other power has the authority to make us righteous. It's only by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. No other prophet or any other man or woman has the power to make us to be righteous. It is only Jesus Christ has the power, has the authority to make us to be righteous. Our God is good. He's a faithful and a just God. Therefore, when you come to the Lord, the Lord will bless you, and the Lord will make you righteous, and the Lord will lift you up. The Lord will pick you up from the dust, and he will shake off the dust, and then he's going to make you to be righteous. Shake off the beast into the fire. The power of God is living in me. I know the truth, and you shall set me free. I'm going to shake up the beast, then I will feel all right. Shake it off. Shake, shake, shake into the fire the fire of god 
this living in me. I know the truth and they shall set me free. I'm gonna shake up the beast, then I will feel alright. Shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up, shake up the beast into the fire. The power of God is living in me. And I know the truth, and they shall set me free. God bless you, brother. I'm gonna shake up the beast. Then I will feel alright. Shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up, shake up the beast, shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up, shake up the beast, shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up, shake up the beast. The power of God is living in me, and I know the truth, and it shall set me free. You gotta shake up the beast, the beast of sin, the beast of unholiness. The beast of revenge, the beast of anger, the beast of adultery, the beast of fornication, the beast of every kind or manner of evil, the beast of rejection, shake it off. The beast of sickness and disease, shake it off. Because the power of God is living in you. Because the truth sets free. The truth sets you free from every kind of beast that come to challenge you. God bless you, sister. Our God is a good God. Yes. Amen. So you're going to shake up the beast. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Because the power of God is living in you. Because the truth, the truth alone will set you free. You know the truth, and the truth alone will set you free. Jesus Christ set you free. Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ set you free. It's only Jesus that set us free. No other one, no other name, no other one, no other name. It's only Jesus, Jesus, and Jesus alone. He's the only one that saved us, and he's the only one that set us free. He's a great God. Therefore, today, come to the righteousness of God. Come to the righteousness of God, not the righteousness of man. Come to righteousness of God. When you come to righteousness of God, you're going to be made righteous. Not because of your effort, not because of your deed, not because of your righteousness, but because of the righteousness of God, you will be made righteous, everybody. Don't fear righteousness. Don't fear holiness. Don't fear perfection. Don't fear that name Jesus, because that name Jesus loves you. That name Jesus makes you holy, makes you perfect, makes you righteous, because he loves you so much. Don't be scared to come to Jesus, sister. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. Jesus will die for you. Therefore, don't. Keep away from him, but come to him. Come to Jesus Christ just as you are. Come to Jesus Christ today, just as you are. Come to Jesus, come to him today, just as you are. And he will receive you, and he will bless you, and he will give you all your heart desire. He will make you righteous. He will make you holy. He will make you perfect. He will make you righteous. He will make you holy. He will make you perfect. He will make you righteous. He will make you holy. He will make you perfect. Because his name is righteous. His name is perfect. His name is holy. His name is God. And God is perfect. And God is holy. And God is righteous. And Jesus is God. Jesus is that God. Jesus is that living water. Jesus Christ is God. He's God. He's God. Let the heaven and earth know it today. You must know it that Jesus Christ is God. He's a great God. And that's why He's the only one that can make you holy. And that's why he's the only one that can make you perfect. And that's why he's the only one that can make you righteous. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the King. He's the mighty God. He's the Redeemer. He's the Comforter. Therefore, come to him. Come to Jesus with all your need. Come to Jesus. Our God is good. Jew, Gentiles, come to Jesus, everybody. Wherever you come, whatever works of life, Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the Redeemer. Black or white, come to Jesus. Red or yellow, come to Jesus. Whichever language you speak, come to Jesus. Africa or America, come to Jesus. Jesus loves you, and he will make you whole, and he will bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that every one of you that have received the word of God today we come to Jesus and we know that Jesus Christ is waiting for you. 
And we know that Jesus Christ has got grace, grace to make you holy, grace to make you righteous, grace to make you perfect. Jesus Christ has got that grace. He's got that grace, that grace of holiness, the grace of righteousness, the grace of perfection. Therefore, you can be righteous, you can be holy, you can be perfect by the grace, by his grace, by his power, by his goodness, by his righteousness, by his own righteousness, he'll make you righteous. By his goodness, he'll make you good. By his perfection, he'll make you perfect. Therefore, don't be afraid. Don't be scared to come to Jesus. Return to Jesus Christ today. Believe Jesus Christ today. For today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. And tomorrow is too late. Because that is not a day that is called tomorrow. We only have this day. Give us this day. He didn't say to us, give us tomorrow. He said, give us this day. Our daily bread is daily, daily. This day, daily bread. Therefore, come to Jesus Christ just as you are. Today, today is the day of salvation. Today is the acceptable day. This is the day God has made, given to us, that we should return to God, that we should come to God, that we should come draw close to God. And let me tell you, when you draw close to God, God will draw close to you. When you come nearer to God, God will draw nearer to you. I'm going to sing this song as I close. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, O oh God. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee, O oh God. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Oh, my sons, every day. Father, draw me nearer, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my sons, day by day, Father, draw me closer, draw me closer, closer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, oh God, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me closer, closer to thee, Emmanuel, draw me closer, closer to thee. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, draw me nearer, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, I need you closer, draw me closer, closer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee, oh God, draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Nearer to thee, nearer to thee, O oh God. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, nearer to you. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, draw me closer. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Amen. Draw me closer, closer to thee, oh God. Draw me closer, closer to thee. Nearer to thee, nearer to thee, oh God. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Oh, my sons, every day, Father, draw me closer, draw me closer, closer to thee. Amen. Okay. Okay. God is busy. Yeah. No worries. Yes. When I was coming, I'm going to say you from the phone. So they keep me long on the phone. So I have to even drive, make my way come here. Can I come you? Of course. Oh, yes, I have to. I have to. Because I have, I have prayer, my sisters. God bless you. Jesus, God. Amen. 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 God is a good God, everybody. We are coming to come. Amen. God is a good God. 
We are coming to the close for today's uh, message. Remember our message? Righteousness of God. You can be righteous. And righteous is not difficult because it's not your making. God will make you righteous. When you believe, when you repent, when you draw closer to him, when you open it to your heart, he will come in and eat with you and you eat with him. Therefore, believe, repent, open your heart, he will come in and soup with you and make you righteous. Once he come in and soup with you, you are righteous. He has made you righteous. Our God is a great God. Our God is wonderful. Jesus Christ, live and reign forever and ever. There is none like you, God. No one like you, God. No one else can touch my life like you do. And I can search for all eternity, God, and find there is none like you. No one like you, God. There is none like you. There is no one like you, God. No one else can touch my life like you do. I can search for all eternity, God, and find there is none like you, oh God. Your mercy flows like a river wide, and healing comes from your throne, and suffering children are safe in your hands, oh God. There is none like you, God. There is none like you. There is no one like you, God. No one else can touch my life like you do. And I can search for all eternity, God, and find there is none like you, oh God. Your mercy flows like a river wide. And healing comes from your throne, oh God. And suffering children are saved in your hands, oh God. There is none like you, oh God. And there is none like you, God. There is no one like you, God. No one else can touch my life like you do, like you do, oh God. And I can search for all eternity, God. And find there is none like you. Our God is great, everybody. Jesus Christ, love every one of you. In Jesus' name, amen. There is no one to be compared with God. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ is strong tower. The righteous run into the name of that Jesus. The righteous is saved. Our God is faithful. There is no one like unto the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's a great God. He's a faithful and a just God. He's a wonderful God. He's mighty. He's glorious. He's gracious. He has done it. He's given us joy, peace, and kindness. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, today I give God praise because we've preached the good news. Jesus loves you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We preach the good news today and we've come into an end here today. We started from here and we're finishing here today. Tomorrow we continue. It's a daily walk. It's a daily battle. Jesus Christ is Lord. We we'll win. We we'll fought the battle, the battle of faith, and we we'll win. And Jesus Christ gave us victory. He will always give us victory. God bless you. I encourage you to come. Let us fight that battle of faith. Let us go out there and preach the good news. Jesus Christ died for you. Let, let other people know what you are enjoying in the name of the Lord. God bless you. Be a, a fire. Be a firebrand for Christ. Jesus, love you. God bless you. Amen. Bye-bye.